What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Ghost Fighter, two T's, and you know I'm back with another informative video, man. We're going to get right on into this video, man, and I got some things that I want to harp on in this video. Yes, I am going to be telling you guys about this awesome Savage Wolverine high-end assault rifle, which is one of the best assault rifles in the game. Yes, in TU8 which is the newest update that we have. I'm going to explain some things with you, so I want to make sure that you guys are completely listening to everything I'm saying in this video. Since we have people who want to come to my channel and they want to critique me and tell me how to do my channel and how to be a YouTuber when I'm my own person. So with that said, uh, I love you guys. God bless you in this COVID season and what we're going through. God still reigns supreme even though we're going through a season of trying times. It is so important on my channel that I make sure that I communicate whatever it is that I decide to upload with you guys. I make sure that I put it out one because there is somebody out there who hasn't seen my video. This is my video from my angle and the way that I give it. And it may not be given or explained the same way as what someone else would explain. Okay? So, I want to make sure that you guys know that. So, I hope that you guys are enjoying the way that I bring content. If there are going to be people who want to come to my channel and disrespect me and say things to me that is disrespectful, you will get the ghost block game. Okay? I'm going to make sure I make that clear. Now, if you want to come to my channel and you want to say something nice, then you can do so. And you can stress your opinion or the way that you feel about something to me the way that you want to. But you can do it in a nice, respectful manner. If not, you're going to just get blocked. And the only thing you're going to be able to about do on my channel is view my channel or leave a dislike. Which, guess what? You giving me that energy, you're still giving me the energy that you you care about my channel because you left a dislike. So you're going to just keep getting recommended my videos. So you can hit that one button that says uh, go up to the top tab with the three little things and hit uh, not interested no more if you feel that way about my channel. But if you rock with me and you ghost game, then keep doing everything that you're doing. You're doing fine. I'm not talking to you guys. But for people who just come to my channel and just want to uh, talk and critique me and tell me I didn't do something right, it's always funny how people pick out the negative part of your video and then go in the comment section and post on that negative part of your video but didn't take for granted any of the other awesome things you might have said and got right. Guys, we're on YouTube to share ourselves to the world. We're not here to get every single thing that we talk about right to... Uh, to uh to be the, the the best youtuber in the world nobody can touch us it's about giving the angle of who you are and what you do for the game of this particular game that we're playing or whatever it is that i'm putting content out for if you look at my channel i got over 800 uploads of stuff that i was passionate about that i thought was worth putting on youtube starting back way back in like in 2000 and i'll say i don't know I'll just say 14, 13, 14 when I started this particular channel. My channel has grown so much and I've impacted so many people. Some people know me as, as, as Rev Allison, uh, Pastor Allison, all kinds of things because I pray for people because I have the spirit of Jesus Christ in me. Now, with that said, me saying I have the spirit of Jesus Christ in me, I am a God-fearing man, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the Holy Trinity. That is what I believe in. If you look at my channel and go to my um and go to my uh, what my channel is about it'll tell you exactly what my channel was about and i hope that you guys enjoy that and that that's special about something that i do that i bring at this channel how many of the youtubers actually will take the time to pray for you you okay you might not think that's important but when you're going through something in your life it's very important that that happens okay i don't want to drag on this video but I will tell you something that my wife said was very, very uh, eye opening and touching. She said, when you got the spirit of Jesus Christ in you, bad spirits don't like it. 
They don't like the way you sound, the way you talk, the way you move, the way you're joyful. I'm a joyful, outgoing person. I think anybody that comes to my channel can see that I'm 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 obnoxious at times because I'm loud. But you understand me. You know what I'm talking about. I'm always making sure that I stay on point with what it is that I'm trying to uh, explain to you. And uh, I speak very clearly so that you can hear me. I don't have no slang. What up, dog? You little, little, little. I'm pretty sure I can do that. But I make sure that you guys can understand the things that I'm critiquing out of my mouth while I'm talking to you guys at any point in time. Okay. So now with that said, the problem that I had with the person who came to my channel the problem I had was the fact that he said that the things that I was uploading for division weren't relevant. That is very untrue, my guy. That is very untrue. Let me tell you why. Because I'm looking at a video right now of the Savage Wolverine. And uh, it's showing me the stats for that particular gun back in February. Those stats for that gun back and forth. Now, this is two months. So I'm going to tell you why it's so important that you continue to upload the things that you're uploading because everybody's not going to see it the way that you see it. Now, looking at his Savage Wolverine, his base DMG was 27,005K. His RPM was 869. His mag size was 50. Now, the RPM and the mag size varies for guns because you can't get an even more extended clip uh, for that. But clearly, the RPM is not the same, okay, for this particular gun. Now, this is a gun you get by field research. Now, what definitely did change was the damage. It's a big difference now. So maybe Wolverine, when most people got it back then, wasn't that good. But now, it could be a better gun. And you don't know that because each month they're changing so much. The game is so broken and there's so much going on in the game that you have to continue to put out those videos just like the game has only been out months because things change all the time. Okay, guys? Okay, the base damage he had was 27,000. That's a big difference from 84,900 two months later. Okay? So with that said, you have other ARs that are here. The ACRE. The base damage is 96,000. Then you got the AUG, 91,000, 84,000 for the carbon. The FAMAS is a really good gun, 2010. It's 79 base damage, 79K. Uh, Glory Days, which is a really good gun. It, it's, it's, it's a replica of the uh, Eagle Bearer. A lot of people don't think I know that, but it's a lot that I know about this game just by the look of the replica of the gun, I know. Um... The Honey Badger, 85,000. So you can see most of the AR uh, military tactical guns are around that 80 to 90,000. And what will change with them that makes them uh, better, uh, uh, better than one gun or not better than another gun is because the talents on the gun. Not only the talents on the gun, but the RPM. So you might have a, for example, let's do a little math here. For example, you may have a gun that is only 80,000, but the RPM is 800, right? And you, you're DPS in a character. But you may have a gun that is only 50,000 K, 50 K, right? But it's a, it's 1200 RPM and 50 in the mag. So it's going to continue to do more damage than that other gun that I said because, yes, it's a less uh, of a damage base per bullet, but it's firing at a much higher rate of fire, and it has way more bullets in the mag without having to reload. For all you geeks out there who want to come to my channel and critique my stuff, I know what I'm talking about when I start talking about stuff on my channel, okay? If I don't know, then guess what? I won't speak on it if I don't know if I'm unsure. And if I'm unsure or I get it wrong, you guys can politely come into my comment section and correct me. And I'll be cool with it. Alright, now that we got that whole rant thing out of the way, this is how you guys are going to get the field research for this particular gun. You're going to go and you're going to start the progress of firewall research. Okay? And you're going to tab over and hit X. And you're going to start all the way up here from the top. Now, what I will tell you about this, I'm not going to tell you every single step because the steps and the stages are right here in front of your face. Okay? Set enemy on fires. Kill enemy uh, scorers. 
up and close and personal. All the stuff is self-explanatory. And you're going to do the field research of stage one, stage two, stage three. And you're going to completely complete stage four. Once you completely complete, complete stage four, right, which I've done, it will give you the blueprint for this particular gun. Now, this is what I get. Uh, it, it'll give you the firewall and it'll give you a... a of skin to go with it i didn't do that step yet because i already have bought the uh i spent the money and bought the basically to get the guns without having to do the field research so that is another way that people may not know that you can go do to get um <clears throat> credit for uh getting those uh particular specializations without having to uh actually do the field research but you will not get different things in that field research that it unlocks for you only through doing the field research i want to say that again you can only get some of the perks and guns in this game and skins in this game by doing the field research for each of those categories whether it be the gunner whether it be the sniper rifle uh category those specializations you cannot get the guns that are there so this is a very special gun and the reason why i say this is because you got to do a lot of grinding to get this savage wolverine and what will happen is it shows base damage right there but that'll change according to my level and overall so if i go in here hit square and i craft it once you got the blueprint it'll craft a, di a different type of the gun for uh and we'll compare it to the one that i got and we'll see, uh, is there any different when, when you go to craft it again? I just want to show you guys this. It's a pretty lengthy video, but I want to make sure that we're, we're on the same page and we know what's going on. So if you compare it, the one on the right, which is the one I have equipped because it shows a one at the top and it has a little left, little uh, tab one uh, with the white tab in the left hand corner on the right side. Okay. So if you look at these, the total base damage for this Savage Wolverine on the left is plus 433 which isn't that big of a difference the rpm is still going to be the same and the mag size is going to be the same because i i have that extended clip for that particular gun uh though but what you can see in the perks why this is why you when you get a blueprint for all you geeks out there this is why you want to uh uh continue to keep uh, crafting those blueprints the reason why is because you can end up getting a god roll which meaning you'll have almost max stats for assault rifle damage health damage and optical range okay so as you can see here if we go down and look some things change some talents change so i want to say that the uh, assault rifle damage which went up one percent on the left and the health damage went up uh about two and a half percent or uh, 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 1.5 or be 6, 7, so about 1.5% of health damage. And then you got optical range. The optical range for this one went up plus 21. It's almost max for optical range. So that means you're going to be able to shoot this gun a lot further. See, now this one says plus 7 for magazine size. So the perks seem to be the same for the 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 the, uh, the specialization on it perfectly close and personal killing the target within seven grants 38 percent weapon damage for 10 seconds that is amazing guys i tell you what the way that i would explain this try punching somebody's let somebody punch your arm for 10 seconds to see how long that take i tell you what you're gonna your arm's gonna be hurting you let somebody punch you as hard as they can for 10 seconds that's a long time to do dps and get 38 plus percent not to include all the other perks that you can stack on top of this depending on uh the particular guns that you have for that category so you guys know how to get it you know what to do to get a new roll on it if you want to get a godlike roll on it as you can see like here some people might want magazine size some people might want optical uh range in uh in stud instead of magazine size so benedict said 42 for magazine size let's let's see Let's see what it says for uh, magazine size when I put it extended on this one. Okay, so that that seven or eight percent for the optical uh, range 
all you guys see that's why I see and I don't have this kind of time to do this much uh, information in every video and everything sometimes I'm just trying to get the video out to you with the best passionate way possible because there's so many things that you can go into in videos being a youtuber and getting better at your craft that you can do um when you're doing these videos like this is more in depth about this gun that maybe people want to know about so like right here so I went and did the extended mag it gives a plus 10 which is two bullets less than the other one but guess what look at the optimal range on this one two less bullets but the optimal range is almost maximized okay so I would say this is this is a better uh version of the savage wolverine more of a, a you know what would be good would be 15 for assault rifle damage and health at its max and optimal range or maybe another perk there on the second one so this is the video man I, I apologize that i had to uh rant but you see the video you see the stats you see the gun this is the version that i have I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize if I ran it on, but I really think you guys needed to not only hear this video, but hear my point of view of what I think about this gun and what this gun uh, actually gives you now in this day and time. And a lot of people probably think this is an all on really a rifle. It's really a, 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 a actually a handgun to be technical because it's a lot of people that walk that walk around with these assault rifles. And they walk around with them because, one, look, the back stock of it folds down, okay? And I'm not even a gun lover like that, okay, guys? I'm just giving you things that I know, and if I don't know, I won't say anything about them. The back of the gun stock folds down. That's one of the reasons why it's a handgun. As you can see where the handle is, you can tell that it's a handgun there, okay? But it has an overheaded stock top, which makes it look like a rifle because it has that long barrel, and the pistol in the uh, the pistol barrel in at the end, it looks like it's a it's a it's basically a AR. It, lo it looks like a long rifle, but it's not because they don't make guns that are full auto except for in the military. Those are illegal. You don't you don't get full auto guns, okay? That is something that is the belief that the military use, which I work for. They get full auto guns to bust your head off. Not this particular game. This game just allows you to have it. But that is not something that you can have if you're in the real world time. You get a semi-auto, okay? And this is a handgun, basically. <laughs> okay, so with that said, I love you guys. God bless you guys. I didn't talk about this video to rant to get you guys upset or get you mad or make you make the decision or not to sub to my channel. But sometimes you got to have these kind of conversations, man, because people think they're going to come to your channel. And they're going to decide what your channel does and doesn't do. Now, it's OK if you give me criticism and tell me, like even the guy that I'm talking about, I did go check his channel out. And that is relevant. But guess what? That's relevant to that particular person that's doing the upload. You me tell you why? Why that is? That's because... I don't know about that because I'm not in the dark zone 50 hours a week, okay? Okay? So I'm going to bring you real uploads. I'm going to give you real passionate uploads. I'm not going to give you something because I went to everybody's channel and seen what was popping for now. I'm going to give you on my channel what I think is good for now because it's what I'm experiencing. Because guess what? I'm still a gamer. I still love the game and I like to enjoy it myself. I don't want to know about all the glitches in the game that it has. It's The game is already broken enough with just the devs getting rid of people and, and blocking people and doing stuff to them, okay? So with that being said, I don't want to sit here and find every glitch in the game. That's somebody else's angle that they can go about the game. I'm going to give you what's good about the game while I play it because I want to sit and enjoy this game. I don't want to sit here and complain about all the glitches. Now, I will put out videos that... Uh, are relevant about those things but i just didn't feel the need that i needed to do that on my particular channel this is my platform that i put my hard work in and i appreciate every sub that comes here and shows me love i do it for you guys now now what i will say is if you are sub to me and you subscribe and you like and you comment all the time guess what I'll take in consideration the things that you're saying that I should do for my channel. But every time I do a poll or I put up a, a, a video or a tweet or a uh, Instagram post, you guys don't. I got almost 2,000 subscribers. Nobody's complaining that I'm doing the wrong things on my video. So if I got 2,000 people who's not commenting and saying that my videos need to be uh, reworked, 
then I think I'm doing pretty good for myself to be a YouTuber. And I'm a I'm a part time of a part time YouTuber. I'm not even full time on YouTube. Imagine if I put my full energy into this game, put my full energy into doing YouTube, which I can't right now because I'm serving my country right now. I love you guys. I thank you. God bless y'all. I know how to come at you real like you come at me real and do it in a nice way. But you know, you can tell from the bottom of my heart that I care. Y'all go get y'all this Savage Wolverine, man. High end assault rifle. Go get you one. Go enjoy the game. Go play. Craft it a couple times. Maybe you'll get your guy roll out of it. All right. This is Ghost Side of Two T's, and I'm out.